Let's talk about the hidden cause of palpitations. Now, what is a palpitation? It's when your heartbeat races uh, temporarily, it pounds, flip-flops, skips, or flutters. And a lot of people get freaked out and they're scared, uh, realize that most of the time it is not going to be the problem. But um, typically what will cause this would be a fluctuation in your blood sugars, either having high blood sugar or low blood sugar. Maybe you consume some chocolate, which has two stimulants, theobromine and caffeine. That can trigger your heart to do certain things. Uh, caffeine, especially too much, will do it. Uh, alcohol, having a fever, or having low electrolytes, potassium or magnesium, can alter the rhythm of the heart. But there's another cause of palpitations that I want to mention, and that has to do with your gallbladder. There's an interesting paper on this topic showing the relationship between in the gallbladder and an ECG reading, electrocardiogram. So in other words, if you have gallstones or your gallbladder is distended, the connecting tube between the liver and the small intestine is dilated, or you have sludge in your gallbladder, all of these can alter the physiology of your heart that can be shown on an ECG. Now, I don't want to get too far into the woods of a certain pattern that would show up in the ECG. You can look this up if you're interested. Uh, but there's definitely a change in the heart that occurs when there's an issue with the gallbladder. Now, if someone has an, an abnormal ECG reading, it could definitely be a problem with the heart, but it can also be a problem with the gallbladder and not the heart. Now, I'm just bringing this up because the last thing you'd want to do is some massively invasive procedure and the problem is something else. So I always ask people, what did you eat just before you had these palpitations? And inevitably they ate something that they normally don't eat. Or for example, they consumed a lot of heavy cream uh, or something new or chocolate or a lot of caffeine or alcohol but some new food was introduced into the diet that then aggravated the gallbladder and then created these palpitations. Now, if you haven't seen my other videos on the gallbladder, here are some other common symptoms. Right rib cage pain, right underneath your right rib cage, you have a fullness or a pain, or it could be referred to the right side of your head or the right eye or the right trap or the right shoulder or the right rhomboid area, which is the muscle uh, on the right side between the spine and your scapula. Now, another symptom would be a light colored stool, or your stool floats, or you're nauseated, you get bloating, burping, belching, or even constipation. Now, the bile that is made in your liver and stored in the gallbladder is a lubricant, so it prevents constipation. If you have too much bile, you'll have diarrhea. If you have too little bile, you may have constipation. So a lot of things can alter uh, bile, the production and the storage. Maybe I should just explain what bile is. Bile is a detergent that's made by your body and it's used when you digest fats. It extracts certain things from the fat. Fat soluble vitamins, vitamin A, E, D, and K. It also extracts like omega-3 fatty acids and other necessary fats for your health. And it's actually the deficiency of bile that could potentially produce gallstones and sluggishness. So a lot of that is diet related. But the point of this video is just to make you more aware of another potential cause of your palpitations, the gallbladder. If you want more information about the gallbladder, I have a lot of videos. I would recommend starting with this one right here.